Alright guys, so we're one day closer to Legends Fest and I've seen a lot of predictions for part 1, especially around a potential Beast Gohan slash MUI Goku. Even that one JP teaser kind of hinted at a possible MUI. But there's a bigger hint that pretty much confirms one of the themes for part 1, and that is this Awakened Equip that was added last update. Now, it's not actually in the shop and you cannot acquire it at the moment, but it can only be equipped by future or weapon wielder units. There's several units that fit this, but only a few that fit both of them. Most importantly, Rosé and Future Trunks. So, before Future gets these buffs, I'm going to be revisiting the team. UVB and CMZ are pretty much the top two Future units, and then I just threw on Rosé, hopefully to handle Turles. But anyways, if you enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get to it. <laughs> All right, first match. Deku on fusion. It's a bit laggy. Okay. CMZ still does damage. That's good to know. To be fair, the stars are kind of low on this enemy team, I think. Uh, okay. Sure. Not sure what's going on, but I'll take it. Of course, Rosé, he needs that bleed to build up his cut pen and stuff. Does swap, alright. Uh, I'm not sure with the heal. And the buff cancellation. Yeah, damn. Jose's glory days are long past now. Alright, I'll take it. Now, I do think the most likely scenario is a Synchro Gauge, Rosé and Zamasu, but we might just get a standalone Rosé that transforms or fuses in a cutscene. Full range, okay. Yeah, let me know what you guys think is coming, like future buffs, potentially uni reps. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, those two ultras and Vegeta. Go here and pop gauge. Okay. Yeah. yeah, god, by one. It's fine, CMZ can eat a couple of hits. Future also definitely needs a purple. Okay, that's not great. Hoping that the purple LF Rose gets a plat equip. Sword of Hope could also get a plat equip. And, uh, yeah, I guess the new unit would have to be yellow to really fill out the team. Or they could just say, screw Rosé for longer, delay his plat by a year, and make the new uh, Rosé slash the Masu green unit. That could also work. So this is going to be tough. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, what? 
Okay. That's quite a bit of damage. Sure. Back here. Okay, this is pretty good. I'm just gonna pop this. I don't think he can swap out into Turles. Oh, okay, <laughs> giving up Majin Vegeta there, that's a certain play, sure. He's gonna take massive AoE damage too. Ooh. Okay. Perfect. Let's go. All right, this one's gonna be tough. He's a top guard on Clara. Yeah. It's pretty much mono blue with Bardock as well. Tough matchup here. Let's go for this. Oh wow, he was able to, able to walk back to them. That, that kind of sucks. Just the indestructible. Okay. Not much I could do there. Okay, chill out Barku, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, the double red. Not making things easy for me. There he goes. Okay. There's too much though, he still has the comeback. There goes my ultimate. Yep, no counterplay to that. Hopefully, we do get that plat for Rose next year though. Enough, he needs it. He needs it more than Ultra Hit. Its mechanics still are pretty effective. Okay, well, we tried. GG's. Definitely uh, an outdated team here. Saga. Let's toss this in. Toss that right there. Alright. Super Vegito is going to be trouble. Yeah, again, the main thing with future 
real unit to eat a rush with. Hopefully the new Zamasu, Rosé, whatever unit has some kind of uh, rush protection. I'd rather not see another another comeback unit so quickly, but indestructible would work. Okay. It'll also kind of be canon to the manga because Blue Goku used the Hakai. And Zamasu kind of survived that. Drop was a little too risky there. I'm just gonna do this. I... Hopefully he swaps into Vegito, that's fine. I just want the damage. pretty good. And of course he just fuses. Alright. You still got some AoE damage in. That's the main thing I was looking for. Why he swapped there, but okay. Goodbye, go tanks. Oh, nope. That's not happening. Stupid car destruction. Doesn't matter though. Get Manage back as well. Try to click the blue, but that works. Green DBS Brawly. Okay. I haven't seen this unit in a while. Funny how we just couldn't match up to the other anniversary 1%. He was able to go into Brawly, huh? Yeah, Gogeta has the sub I don't think he's killing. Yeah, that's tragic. To get a snipe there. Yeah. 
Sure. This does do AoE damage, I believe. Maybe not. Okay, come on. So, seal the rush for a bit. Unit out. Okay, goodbye. God damn. Unfortunate timing. At least we got the vanish out. If he rushes, I'll just give up CMZ. Never mind. He should be able to one shot. Take some damage here. CMZ, the absolute sponge for this team. Damage sponge. Okay. Yeah, personally, I think the best things that can happen for this team potentially a plat for. Yeah, potential plat for the Purple Rosé, and, you know, a tag 17 and 18 Sankai would be insane for future. Permanent Endurance Snow? This should do good damage. Just didn't want to trigger the gauge there. But yeah, I think the best Zenkai future can get is that tag 17 and 18. Wow, almost killed. Drop this. Gives up UG4, okay. Interesting choice. Vanish back there. Still gotta be careful. All of our units are pretty much one touch. Alright, Rose Cook. Never mind. Let's do one more. Alright guys, gonna make this the final one. Sixth anniversary team there. Yeah, Future definitely needs a, to a ton of help. Like, uh, CMZ and UVB are pretty good. CMZ especially is a great Zenkai, but yeah, it's just not it. 
for a well-balanced team. Okay. They should actually get anyone out. Wouldn't have given them up. <laughs> Yeah, we just need some more defense to kind of balance out the team. Got a re replacement for Rosé. Yeah, Future should be able to cook again. Okay, let's try to wrap it up with Rosé. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.